Hi everyone, I'm Jin Chen. Today I will show our work, Fast Rational Autoencoder with Inverted multi Index in, for Collaborative Filtering. In this work, we mainly focus on the efficiency issue in Rational Autoencoders. Rational Autoencoder has been extended as a representative nonlinear method for collaborative filtering. Uh, such, such as multi VAE, it has received much attention among the recommendation community. However, the bottleneck of the multi VAE lies in the log, par log partition function over the logics of the all item, that is, the denominator of the log softmax function. When there are an extremely large number of items, the training of multi VAE is very time consuming, making it impractical in real recommendation scenarios. To address these problems, self normalized important sampling is used for approximation, that is, sampled softmax. However, it is very inefficient to sample from the exact softmax distribution. So, uh, many existing methods still use the simple or static distributions such as uniform or popularity based distributions to sample items. However, the, the problems of these proposals lies in the large divergence from the softmax distribution. The recent important method is to use the quadratic kernel based distributions as a proposal, which are not only closer to the softmax distribution, but also efficient to sample from. However, the quadratic kernel based sampler is not always a good approximation, and it also will suffer from a large memory footprint. Thus, we want to design an efficient sampler, being more accurate and flexible. In, inspired by the popular MI, MIPS industry structure, inverted multi-index, we can decompose the softmax probability based on it. And uh, thus, we can decompose the item sampling into several stages. And according to it, we designed an efficient sampling process for these approximate softmax distributions from which items can be independently sampled in sublinear or even constant time. And these samplers are applied for developing the fast VAE. The detailed process is elaborated as follows. Let's first take a look at the inverted multi-index in the uh, structure. It is implemented through the code, code ball quantization. Here we take the product quantization as an example. Each vector Q is split into M distinct sub vectors, and each sub vector Q, QL is mapped into an element of a fixed size vector set by a quantizer. And the CL is the code book, and the CKL is the code word in the CL code book. And the CL code book has K code words. And we can use the following, following quantizers to map the original, original vector Q. And we achieve the quantizer by the k-means clustering. In the following, we demonstrate sampling with two code books for simplicity, which is the default option of the inverted multi, multi inverted index. And each item has a residue vector that had Q that equals the Q minus the concatenation of the two, two code words from the first, first subspace and the second sub subspace. It is well known that the inverted multi index only assigns each item to a unique code work in each subspace. Inspired, inspired by it, it is possible to develop sublinear time sampling methods from the softmax distribution that we, we can split the item sampling into several sta stages. And so we provide the detail of the decomposed procedure. Assume that the user vector uh, uh, in multi VAE, it is the last, uh, last layer's input that the user vector is the U. It can be split into two subspaces and the item vector QI can be rewrite as a 
two connotation of the as a connotation of the two code words and a minor plus the residue vector. And the omega k1, k2 is the item set of items for the items in the case ck1 in the first subspace and ck2 in the second sub subspace. And the or original softmax probability can be right as follows. Then the three, uh, three conditional probabilities uh, the multiplication of these three pro probability distribu dis distribution. And next we will give a detailed analysis. And the original softmax distribution can be write as the follows. And we rewrite the inner product of the user vector and the item vector with the first, sub first vector in the subspace and the second sub and the second cluster in the second subspace and the inner product with the residue vector. And the denominator will be right as the use user vector with the uh, sub, sub vectors and the, the left part in the omega set. And we denote this part as phi k. And the, sec and the second step is we multiply the nominator and the denominator with phi k1. And we get this equation. And then we then split it the two parts, we get the P1, P1, K1. And in a similar manner, we can also split it, split it this part, get the P2, K1, uh, K2, given K1. And the last part is the P3, given K1, K2. And this provides a new perspective for sampler. We can split it, the sampling process into several stages if we know each sampling probabilities. Um, and next we will describe it. Uh, we name it as the MIDX sampler. It has several stages. Uh, the first step is to construct the so three multinomial distribution since we have two subspaces in our settings. And the second step is to sample an index K1 from P1. And that, that is right in the right figure. We sample the second code word in the first subspace. And the, the next step is to sample another index K2 from P given K1. And in the, in the right figure, we select the fourth the first code word in the second subspace. And the last one, we sample a candidate from the residue softmax PU3 given K1, K2. And in, and in, uh, in the right figure that there are four items in the omega set C24. And we select the third item and, the, and this item being the sample item. And it is, should be pay attention that the omega k1 k2 is absolutely not empty and this is different from the inverted original inverted multi index it will sample empty in the in, in each time but in our samplers each time an enter, an item can be sampled so however this is the exact approximation of the softmax distribution but the calculation of the three multinomial distribution is time consuming. So we can, we, if we replace the multinomial distribution P3, Y1 given K1, K2 with a non-personalized and a static distribution, it will ac accelerate our sampling process. And it will only involve the computing in the product between user vectors and code words instead of the inner product with the whole item. And this decreases the calculation n, from n to k. And a straight, a straightforward is to, uh, method is to use the uniform distribution. We namely at, we, we namely with small MIDX union. And that's we replace the PU3 with a uniform distribution and then approximate softmax distribution Q unit can be formulated as foremost, the original inner product minus the original, uh, minus the inner product with the residue vectors. And another choice is a popularity-based distribution. It is also static and non-personalized. We namely with MIDX pop. Then we also get the 
uh, approximated soft max, uh, soft max probability and compared with the MIDX unit, we add the, prob uh, add the probability of the popularity that pop I here is the popularity of the item I. And in our paper, we also provide theoretical analysis about the bias of the proposed distribution from the softmax distribution. These two variants of the MIDX sampler pro, uh, can have less time complexity and space complexity. And next we will conduct, uh, show our, uh, introduce our experiments. Uh, the fir at first, we compare the fast wear E with MIDX based samplers with some competing baselines. And from the figure, uh, we run experiments for five times and uh, report the average score and the variance. And we can see that the fast VAE can behave almost as well as the multi VAE, which uses the full soft max and uh, even performs slightly better. And uh, the fast VAE also outperforms all the baseline data sets. These data sets has some sampling strategies. And the, the second, we perform experiments with different samplers. And that's to say we use different samplers into the multi-VAE to accelerate the training. First of all, we pay attention to the approximation performance of these samplers. So we plot the divergence between proposals and the softmax distribution. These experiments are conducted on a selected user and we use the random initialized, initialized model and a well-trained model to see the performance. The softmax distribution is exactly calculated and the other, the other probability is calculated by sampling many times and counting the occurrence of items. And we can have several findings that the MIDX sampler is is accurate as the softmax distribution. And the MIDX variance is much closer to the softmax distribution than other samplers such as DNS or kernel-based sampler. And we can see that the MIDX pop is much closer to the softmax than MIDX unit. And the, both of the MIDX samplers can capture the dynamic updates of the model. And the, the second one, we pay attention to the effectiveness, effectiveness of the different samplers. We conduct ex experiments on the, uh, to capture the performance during the different training epochs. We can see that the MIDX-based samplers, MIDX unit in the yellow, in yellow, red, yellow line and the MIDX pop in the green line, they can lead to a fast convergence during the training epochs. And the last one, we also pay attention to the efficiency issue of the samplers. And we increase the number of items in the Amazon data set. Uh, Amazon data set has, much, uh, has, has much, uh, more items. We increase the number of items to see the, to compare the efficiency of items. We can see that the IMIDX unit is, if it is efficient than the MIDX pop, but they are less efficient than static samplers, but they are also acceptable since they only take near one or two seconds in one epoch. It is, it is very, it is accept, it is acceptable. Uh, this is all for our experiments. For other uh, parameter analysis, we can see our paper. In conclusion. In this paper, we discover the high quality approximation of the softmax distribution by decomposing the softmax probability with the inverted multi-index. And we design efficient sampling procedures with two variants from which items can be independently sampled in sublinear or even constant time. These approximate samplers are used for faster training, the variation autoencoder. And we also conduct experiments on three public real-world data sets to demonstrate the 
efficiency and effectiveness. That's all for my representation. Yes, thanks, Jim. Uh, any question from the audience? Uh, can I ask a quick question? Oh, thank you for the great work. Um, uh, I can see that the efficiency is um, expected, but uh, I also saw that the uh, when you compare your model against the multi-VAE, the predictive uh, accuracy was also better. Was this expected? Or is, is this something new that uh, you, you found during the, um, uh, during the experiment? Uh, the efficiency experiments or the effectiveness studies? Uh, the, um, can you go back to the, the, uh, this that, table? that one? Yeah, SVAE uh, outperforms multi-VAE as well. Oh, uh, since uh, it, uh, I think it may be the experiment settings. We controlled the same epoch and the same the learning rate during our experiments. So uh, uh, ideally the multi-VAE may convert to a better results, but we, we keep the same learning rate and uh, fix, the, fix the training epoch. So the fast VAE during the training epoch may have a better performance. Okay, thank you.